All right, so you're moving to the San Francisco Bay Area and wanting to know about those schools and if they're gonna be right for you and your family? Well, today we're going over Pleasant Hill, California schools and what you need to expect, so stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Rachel Capel, East Bay Realtor in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you want to know all things San Francisco Bay, what it's like living, playing, having fun, working, and relocating here, this is the channel for you. Make sure to subscribe, click the like button if you're getting value, and reach out to us because we love helping families relocate to the San Francisco Bay. We got you covered days, nights, and weekends when moving on over here, so just feel free to reach out, DM, PM, email, whatever you feel comfortable with. We love helping you relocate to the Bay. All right, so you're coming on over to the San Francisco Bay and you don't know anything about about the schools, you're completely lost. Well, that's a very common thing that happens with our clients. So we are doing an overview and giving you some data on Pleasant Hill today and Pleasant Hill, California, what you can expect for the schooling systems and help you get some more data so you can make a decision if the Pleasant Hill schools are right for you and your family. All right, so we're gonna go over some websites that I thought were really helpful on helping other clients kind of get an idea of what the school system looks like in Pleasant Hill and it'll just arm you with some more data so when you come on over here, you can make an educated decision if it's right for you. So let's get into this video on Pleasant Hill Schools right now. All right, so here is the website for the Pleasant Hill School District. Um, again, all these links will be down below and you can kind of click here and learn about the elementary schools. Just double click on that and it should take you over. And you can kind of click through here and find out about the different resources um, you want to find um, in Pleasant Hill for schooling, depending on what your kiddos um, ages are. So I highly recommend coming here. Um, again, I always love to um, send my clients to greatschools.org because, again, it's a great place to find out just scoring for the different elementaries and middle and high schools in the different cities that you look at. And you can see here Valhalla is um, obviously the best uh, 9 out of 10 in Pleasant Hill. And you can see the reviews here. You click on them. I'm not going to click on them and go through them. But Sequoia is a 7 out of 10. Strandwood, 7 out of 10. Pleasant Hill Elementary is 6. And Gregory Gardens is 4. Now, um, these are, you know, obviously every school is going to have, every city is going to have some struggles and whatnot, but there are going to be nines in any every city almost. So you just have to look for them and look at the reviews, see if it's good. You know, Strand, what I've heard really great things about. I'm not sure why this score is so low. It was higher last year. Maybe it has to do with COVID, but again, I've heard great things. I don't know if like the administration, they had changes in there, so it might be affecting it. Now, Pleasant Hill Middle, as many middle schools, you're going to have struggles here. Wanna Creeks were obviously a little bit higher than Pleasant Hill. You got six out of tens here. So I definitely would um, do some digging and see what's going on there. But I do think that it's just a challenging age and it's a hard, hard middle schools are tough. So um, definitely do some research there. Let's look at the high school. So there is one um, high school attached to Pleasant Hill and it's College Park. It's eight out of 10. Definitely look at the reviews. I've had um, mixed reviews from clients and friends with this particular um, school. So I don't have an opinion on it because I'm not really allowed to, but I would definitely do some some digging. So the next website I have clients look into is um, golddigger.com. And you can see the highest rated um, public schools in Pleasant Hill are basically College Park, Strandwood, which I thought, and Sequoia is really good. Sequoia is a lottery. So you have to um, enter your child in, I think like by January, I would definitely call them and see. And it's a lottery. So only so many people can get in each year and it's not guaranteed. So I've heard great things about Sequoia and Strandwood and Pleasant Hill. So I definitely would consider them. And Valhalla, obviously, too, is really good. So you can see Sequoia Middle is rated well. Pleasant Hill Middle is on here as well. Uh, Valley View Middle School as well. So as you get into Gregory Gardens, Fair Oaks and all that stuff, it's not going to be as um, highly rated. So this is another great uh, website to dig around into. Uh, again, I love niche.com as well. You can kind of click here, elementary schools, middle, high. You can see here, um, Spring Hill, Valhalla are all A's, um, Sequoia, Strandwood. Um, let's see what the middles are. Uh, Stanley Middle School, Spring Hill A. So yeah, every website's going to have a different story. So that's why you have to kind of dig in, read the reviews, get on there and see what people say. Let's look at um, high school. So Akalani is, is neighboring, but it's not attached to Pleasant Hill. Uh, College Park is an A minus is the um, is the 
rating for that. And you can see here, there's three and a half stars. So definitely click on those 340 reviews, see what people are saying. And then I like public school review as well. Uh, you can see here, there are 60 public high schools matching your criteria, five miles from Pleasant Hill. Um, let's look at the, let's go to the high school because there's only one here. And you can kind of read the reviews here. I have diversity score of 50, which is lower than the national average of 68. So I would kind of just dig into this and see... Let's see if they have anything on. They had more stats for Walnut Creek, but for some reason they're not giving as much for Pleasant Hill. But I would definitely check out this website because it's a very good website to kind of like read into and look into. And I would go to uh, elementaryschools.org. You can see all the different schools that are attached to Pleasant Hill. Christ to King is a private and they go over private public and they go over how many students there are and the ratio student to teacher and just kind of check in and um, and see. I would definitely look at this and kind of see how they compare to Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill. Um and see if, you know, this is the right city for you because maybe you want to try another town. Um, but it's just another data source that you can kind of entertain to find out more information to see if these schools are going to be good for you. And again, all these links will be in the comments down below. So you'll have them. And again, I have told you about Berkeley Parents Network. I really like this website because it's basically where parents can come and ask questions of people that have been living in the area and what they think. So let's click on, I typed in public Pleasant Hill um, schools and let's see what they say. So like what I've said before is you can actually go on this uh, website and become a member, log in, whatever, and just say, hey, like this one says, I'm looking for some info about Sequoia Elementary. I've learned that it's a great school for um, very academic, but in general, your, do your children feel stressed attending the school? How much time does your child spend on homework? You know, you can ask these different questions and parents will answer. And it says here, let's say a third grader at Sequoia, we've had good experience so far. And although second grade was a bit of a challenge, her second grade teacher had higher expectations of her students and other second grade teachers and homework was sometimes a bit overwhelming. That said, the school had dedicated staff to strive and make sure our kids had a great education. In addition, wonderful parent participation, which makes her a well-oiled machine. Very happy there. So I have heard really good things about Sequoia. So... This is another really great place to just get reviews, especially if you have daycare um, questions like people, you know, I've said before in my past uh, business experience, I would have clients call me because I have, I was referred on this network. So um, it's definitely something to look into. And um, of course, we are a great resource and we can help you kind of navigate, but these are good places to start since you can't talk to us all day, every day, <laughs> and you can look into it on your own. Um, but definitely, I would say reach out and find out the data that you need to do and get so you can make an educated decision for you and your family. All right, so there you have it, all the data that you need to know about moving on over here and looking into the schooling system for Pleasant Hill. I think these websites are a huge help. You just have to go a little bit further, go through them yourself, decide if it's right or wrong for you, and just keep digging because that's how we get answers. If you want to know more, more details or information, make sure to reach out to us. All the information is down below. Subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure to let us know when you're coming over here. We love helping families relocate. You know this. And until next time, guys, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.